Hi everyone, how are we going this week? This is Diane from Dice Den here and this is the card we're going to make this week. Isn't it so gorgeous? I absolutely love it. This one is done with the Magnolia Suite, which are absolutely gorgeous and we will be doing some projects with that later in the year. But this one is what we're going to make one like this one. This is using the new DSP from the Christmas catalogue which is absolutely gorgeous. The DSP is actually called Feel Like Frost and look at these gorgeous papers. Let me show you some of the beautiful patterns in there. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And on the other side, look at that. How wonderful is that? All those beautiful silver and white cards. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love, 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 love it. There's no other words for it for me. So, we are going to use one of those sheets today. This one here is done using the purple posy, I think it's called, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And um, that's Highland Heather. Oh, no, that's gorgeous, great. That's Highland Heather and Highland Heather right here. So, and these gemstones, which are beautiful as well, they come from the new sets out of the holiday catalogue called um, Holiday Rhinestones. They, actually, those ones there didn't, they actually came from the peacock ones, but the ones we're going to use are out of the Holiday Rhinestones. So, that is the card we're going to make today. And... This one opens top-wise, so our inside is going to look like this. But this one opens sideways. And we're going to do another side opening card. So let's move them out the way. And I'll show you what pieces of card we need for this card. Okay. So we are going to need a card base that measures 5 and 7 eighths by 8 and a quarter inches. We're going to need two layers in, and this, this is Balmy Blue. This is Knight of Navy, and we're going to need two layers of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. We're going to need a white layer that measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths, and a DSP layer, which I've already cut, but I will go through that with you, which measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. We also need another strip for the inside, which measures 5 and 3 eighths by 1 inch. And then we need two more rectangles. Now, I'll give you the measurements of these, but I'll show you what I did. These measure uh, 2 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, and 3 inches by 1 and a half inches. But I use my stitch circle... Uh, rectangles and I used the fifth the second size and the fifth size for these two pieces these two pieces of card okay and then for our front of our card which I've already cut because as you know I don't bring my big shot into the picture so I've also done the cutting for that and they use the other two which is the third size and the sixth size of the reset uh, Rectangles, stitch rectangles, blah, blah, blah. tongue tied today. So, what we're going to do with this one, we'll, I'll just show you quickly. Um, our card front piece, which was measured um, five our DSP letters, five and three eighths by three and five eighths, and we layered our rectangles on like so and pop them through the big shot so that we only needed one piece of designer series paper and we know that all these layers are going to line up beautifully. So I've just stuck that together so that you can see. So let's pull that off. And you can see, ta-da, we have our three pieces. So I'll pop them all together over there. And we just, the other piece of card we need is just a piece of scrap for doing our um, sentiment at the front on the front of the card here okay so we will start off by scoring our main card oh I didn't tell you what 
stamp set we're using. We're using one of the new stamp sets out of the new ca uh, Christmas catalogue, which is called Christmas Gleaming, which I absolutely love, and I think I've used this one to death already. Um, <clears throat> it comes as a stamp set, which is absolutely beautiful on its own, or as a bundle with these two beautiful punches, and if you buy them as a bundle, you get 10% discount. So it's really worth having. It's very Christmassy. Uh, but here in Australia, summertime is Christmas. So, but it's not wintry Christmas. It's just Christmassy. So that's why I love it. So we're not going to be using the punches, only the, the stamp set. So I hope you enjoy it. And we're only using three. St oh, we're only using three stamps out of that, and that is Deck the Halls with Bows of Holly, Merry Christmas. And this filigree pattern at the top here. Okay, let's bring our scoring tool in, board in, and we're going to score our car stock along the long side at the four and one eighth mark, which I've already done. But I'll do it again with you. Okay, and we're going to then pop that out the way. We're going to fold and burnish this over, and that's our card base. So <clears throat> we will now start on our outside of our card with these three pieces out of the middle of this DSP and our two other pieces of cardstock, and we're going to glue this piece onto here. So that one's empty. I don't know why my mum keeps putting it back, <laughs> but never mind. I won't tell her. And we're going to just glue this onto the front of this piece here. Leaving that beautiful border all the way around, like as we always do. Oops. And because I'm using wet glue, I've got time to move it back into place if I'm a little bit out. <clears throat> we're, then <go> <coughs> Excuse me. we're then going to stick our other pieces onto our rectangles. And at this stage, it doesn't matter what, which way up they are, as long as we just get them all nicely into the middle of each piece. That looks better. And the same with our last piece. So let's pop them on that one. And we've got them all, oops, that one didn't stick, all stuck down nicely, like so. So we have our three sections, how gorgeous do they look, and we're going to then glue this one <clears throat> the correct way up. So we need to just check which is the right way up. That's the correct way up. <clears throat> so we're going to glue this one into place onto the front of the card. This is actually a very simple card. <clears throat> and my purple one is actually my first card for my Heart of Christmas blog pop. So you will see the purple one. This one here on my blog hop, um, which would have been by the time this go, this would have been on the twenty first of August. So, <clears throat> so they're going to go like that. Now we could either lay them flat like so, or in my case, I'm going to use some. What do you call these things? Dimensionals to place on the back. Oops. I 
and I'm one of these people I don't like things that sag so I put plenty on them Oops, come on. let's get rid of those start again Trouble. I've lost all my fingernails. They've all actually gone all yucky lately. So, and again, just making sure that we line this up fairly well with the picture in the background. Okay, and then we're doing the same again with the next layer. So. him on the top and that looks just absolutely gorgeous I love the way these these blues go together so gorgeous okay to finish off the front of the card we are going to use our little piece of scrap and we're going to do a bit of embossing so I'm going to use the new embossing powder <clears throat> which is called shimmer white I just got like a, a sparkle through it oh, can you see that yes you can see that so let's get our piece of card here and our Versamark and we're going to ink up our Merry Christmas. Oh no, I didn't use my, and I don't even know what I've done with it. I forgot to use my embossing buddy. So we'll just see what it comes out like. If it doesn't come out good, we'll have to do it a second time. So. Alright, so let's pop some embossing powder on here. Mm, it's looking a bit yucky. We'll, we'll see what it comes out like. It's not going to come out very nice at all, so I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm going to start again on the other side. All right, so we'll use our embossing buddy just to take the static out. And we will stamp again. So this just goes through. I, all I did was wipe the paper carpet off because it didn't stick. So because I hadn't heat embossed it at this stage. So we're going to just pop him on there again. And hopefully this time... It won't have so many bits of pieces hanging around on it. Heaps better. Heaps better. Still needs a little bit of powder in that corner. Yep. Loads better. So let's get rid of the powder from here. Back into our container. Move that out of the way. And we'll just heat emboss that. It will only take a few seconds. So bear with me. You can see it changing colour. Right along there. How gorgeous is that? It's very hard to see in, in here, but it actually does say Merry Christmas. Now, I found the best way for this one is an old punch called the Classic Label Punch. And because of the shape of it, it fits in there. It actually fits beautifully. So we're going to pop this in. Oh, wrong way up. <laughs> going to pop this in here and line it up top and bottom and punch it. Once we've done that, all we need to do to finish it off is just chop off the little tag ends. And it's perfect. It's the perfect size. Look at that. And it saves all that 
try to fiddle with cutting it. This is going to sit on here too, and this is going to use, I'm going to use these half ones on the side. Because they are a bit smaller. And we're just going to pop him down in this bottom corner here. Oops. Straight. Okay, that's the front done except for our rhinestones. So I'm going to use the smallest ones here. And I'm just going to put three on the front. Up in the top corner here. One. Two. So that's the front of our card done. So let's work on the inside now. So I'll pop that out of the way for a second. And we're going to start by putting our strip down this side here. So let's pop a bit of glue on the back of that. And we'll pop him in the card. And this will go top to bottom. And I've left it, oh, what, a quarter of an inch gap down the side there. Okay, and now we're going to use our Knight of Navy ink. And we're going to stamp our Deck the Halls. Yowza, that's just beautiful. A little bit off. No, it's not actually wonky. It's my paper that was wonky. <laughs> then I'm going to pop my filigree at the top here. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do it the same at the bottom. Because it is a different pattern either side, that's the reason I turned it around. Okay, then we're going to just glue this onto our blue layer the layering on the inside of the card is optional but I just think that it, it actually just finishes off the card beautifully to me it just frames the inside of the card against the white onto the light blue against the light, light blue to dark blue to white it just stands out and and I love that stand out look okay so that's the inside of our card done so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a little bit of this Wink of Stella just to go over the plants, the whatever you call them, dandelions with the bits of frost on them. So this will make them look a bit frostier. I just think we want that frosty look. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. Up very well but I can and it's amazing just how it looks gives that wow factor can you see I don't think you can see them anyway that's our card for this week I hope you like it I think it's gorgeous and it's easy and as you can see I have done it as a birthday card as well so the tutorial as per usual will be on my Facebook group on the same day as this goes live so if you would like the, the written tutorial to go with this card just please head over to my YouTube uh, my Facebook group instead of and from my YouTube group there's a link there so you can go over there join in it's free to join it is a closed group but it is free to join and it is just a bit of fun 
and I'd love to see your creations. I'd also love to know what you think, so if you are on here, please leave me a comment down the bottom or a thumbs up or down, whichever you prefer. I don't, I don't mind. I'm not offended either way. If you don't like the way I present, that's fine. You know, everybody's different. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.